Good morning, I am Scipio, the Cardboard Gambler, and today has been a very long time coming. My last uh, 20 cards uh, PSA submission um, back in February, I want to say February of last year. So, I suck at math, but it was a very, very long time. I haven't seen these cards, and then... I did a recent one of two really, really good cards, um, but this is it. Um, until I submit more, um, these will be, or this is the last uh, PSA submission I did. Way back in the good old days where you could um, trade in bulk um, and then I used a gift card to basically pay for it. It was a very long time ago. I am super stoked. Get my uh, promo card. I can't wait to get these things open. Of course, Golden wouldn't tell me the grades on any of it, <laughs> but uh, I appreciate you. All right, so I didn't see, or I saw the front, but I don't know what's in the front or what's a grade. But here we go, 20 cards. Uh, let's see how many uh, 10 pieces I can get. So card number one. Man, they already got the certs up to what, like six million? Oh yeah. So it looks like I'm starting off with some fire. Um, I pulled, I sold my PSA 10 one that I got earlier um, to basically pay off the credit card. And then um, I pulled this out of a Copperage V box. Last pack, um, pulled it. So I'm really hoping this gets a 10 so I can have one in my personal collection. But uh, let's see if I can start off with a nine. Wow. Wampa dumps already. <laughs> oh, man, I was hoping this was going to get the 10 piece. It's a little top heavy. Still a beautiful card. Uh, still might end up in the personal collection. But man, talk about a heartbreaker. Ooh, and this one. I don't know what that is. I hope that's not a crack. I don't think it's a crack I don't know what that is hopefully it's not a good card okay so I'm a little bit relieved um that's a nine wow this has been a little rough but I am collecting a, a PSA 10 set of the amazing rares and th the only two I need left are Zamazenta and I need a 10 um Jirachi but what is that what is that I don't know if it's a hairline. I'm not gonna dwell on it, but uh, that's that's a uh, suspect. Oh, and there's another one. Oh man, I think it's a crack. Oh man. So here we go, the Celebi. I think it's a crack. It goes all the way through. Wow, and that got the ten. So this went from bad to worse. Oh man. Please don't let all of these cards have cracks in them. So here we go. These should be oh, Mega Blastoise. I submitted a bunch of these because I wanted a 10 for my personal collection. Um, and I've got a 10. So I'm not 100%. I don't super, super care what happens to this one. And that one's a 9. It's like they, they were harsh on the grades. And, um, and I got some like cracked cases. That makes me super scared and paranoid. Okay. Moving on. Uh, let's see. Up oh, Zapdos. So uh, this is how long ago it's been since I've submitted cards. But basically, the Evolution Hollows were money. I think this was like one of the last cards I submitted. Ooh, that got the ten. So Hollow Evolution Zapdos got a ten. There we go. Definitely will make it easier to sell. All right, next up. Oh, Zamazenta. This, I gotta get a 10. Or I, I don't have to. I think um, these are like basically $20 cards and PSA 10s. So I would love this to be a 10, but it's not the end of the world. It's a 9. Womps. And looking at it now, it does... I don't know. It looks slightly left heavy. It looks like I'm gonna get lots of 9s. I don't know if they gotten harsher or maybe um, I just didn't uh, grade... Or maybe I just didn't have a good eye, but here we go. Um, I bought this card 
because I really love the art. It was really hard to find um, a well-centered, non-damaged card. I think this is like breakthrough or breakpoint, but I love the art, no matter what, unless it's like a seven or a six or some crazy, um, this is going in the personal collection. But uh, I don't think I, I got a shot at a 10. Ooh, it's an eight. I did buy this second hand. The centering was a little bit off. There's whitening on the edges. Um, my expectations were low, but I really love the art. I was hoping for a nine there, to be honest, but I will take an eight. And here is the Zacian. I've already got a 10 in my collection and looks like I've got a nine. Womp a -dumps. But I am not seeing any more cracks on this top. So I'm not sure what happened. Um, that makes me sad. Oh, Bridget. There was a two pack box at Walmart with a jumbo like Tapu Coco card. And I actually pulled two of these. One one was like had like a miscut or a jagged edge cut. I sold it on eBay for like 50 bucks, which blew my mind. And then this one was a little bit better. So I sent it in for grading. Um, definitely a card I wanted to flip. Hoping to get that 10 piece nine. Wow. They are being rough today. They're on that uh, CGC stuff. Looking at it now, it does look a little top heavy, <laughs> which is funny because yeah. So there we go. Lots of nines today. My 10 pile looks a little sad. Oh, and these were the team up. These came up in the team up uh, single packs with a coin in it. And this was the promo. And at the time, these were actually worth like really good money. But I have no idea what they're worth now. But there is a nine. And there might have been two. I don't know. I think I I think I just sent like the, the best one I had. So oh, Rockets Me Too. This is definitely not going to get a good grade. Um, but Me Too's my homie. I wanted it slabbed up. Ooh, a four. Good lord. I did not think it was anywhere near deserving of a four, but it was it was scratched up. Okay, maybe my expectations were a little high on that one. It was it was scratched up. Wow. All right, Armored Me Too. Uh, my boy Pogo Dad um, had like a Christmas Day giveaway, and I really wanted this card, and I couldn't. Um, I, I wanted on the giveaway. I couldn't really find it, um, like good centered copies online. Um, Mewtwo is one of my favorite Pokemon, and I definitely wanted to get one slabbed up. I want a couple of cards from him. This is the first one. Ooh, a five. Good lord. Oof. Ooh, man. I was not expecting to get a five. Wow, that hurts. That hurts. I am super scared for my last two cards. So another one of the promos from the Team Up Blisters, it got a 9. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts bad. <laughs> it hurts my soul on that Armored Mewtwo. Wow. Um, Shining Arceus, I could never pull this. Um, I believe I did a trade or I bought it from Popping Off the Walls. I don't even, I think, I know I bought it from Pogo Dad. Um, I could never pull this. I am collecting the set and most of them are 9s. So. I'm happy that one, or I'm happy that one's not like a four or a five or something. So I got four more cards here and then I got two in my stack. But man, these grades have been a big letdown. Um, another Evolutions card that was worth a lot of money. Um, most of these that I got were had horrible centering. I think this one had the best one. It's looking a little right heavy. So yep, she got the nine, still a beautiful card. Um, not going into the personal collection, but it was like something I was going to flip at the time. They were worth a lot. Um, I got this one out of a dollar pack. I did. I did end up pulling the secret rare version out of a dollar pack, but the back was covered in print lines. This one might be probably a nine. Looks like that's the trend. So trend is your friend. PSA nine from a dollar store pack. All right, here we go. And then, yep, so I bought like a, a box of dollar pack, team up dollar packs. And these were my two hits, this trainer card and that Gengar and Mimikyu. And the full art like waifu trainer cards were going for some good money. So I figured I would submit it for a quick flip. And that got a nine. Looks like they are getting a little stingy on the 10 piece, but not bad for a dollar star pack, I guess. And the last card, um, this was another card I won from Pogo Dead on his giveaway. I've, 
I've recently pulled another one um, that looks absolutely flawless to me. So I'm probably gonna be submitting that one too. And that one got a five, wow. So no cracks on the case, but PSA five, huge, huge disappointment. So now I'm super concerned and nervous because these two cards are some big boy heavy hitters. Um, but here we go. I'm gonna take a quick little peek just to make sure I can't um, see the fronts. There we go. If I can't see the fronts. I have no idea, but after after those cards, I am um, I'm terrified. I am absolutely terrified, but these were some big hitters. I wanted them in sequential serial numbers, and hopefully I can get the same grade, both of them. So here we go, um, the Rayquanza VMAX. I've actually pulled this three times. I think this one was the first one I ever pulled out of um, a single Walgreens pack that was a green code. So here we go. As long as it's a nine, it's going into personal collection, but now I'm scared. Ooh, PSA 10, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. That makes me very happy. That is going in the personal collection. And then last, um, here we go. So I got the Ray Ray out of my first ever box. Um, I pulled three alternate arts. I believe this was the first alt that I pulled. Um, and then I, I never pulled it again. And um, I wanted them in sequential serial numbers, both PSA 10. So let's see if I can double up at the end. So here we go, please give me that 10. 10, no, 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 yes! Perfect. Yes, sequential serial number, PSA 10. I wish the numbers were the other way around. So 44 was the V and then 40, 145 would have been the V max. Um, but there we go. At least I ended off pretty, pretty good. Two PSA 10 Charizard, I mean Charizard, Rayquanza alternate arts. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.